Hello, good morning, all of my fine friends. We're looking uh, today at uh, Second Chronicles chapter 29, and we're talking about a uh, man, a king, that, um, man, I, I just, just really, really admire uh, him, you know, as a man, as a leader. It, it, it's, um, you know, when you read about him in the scripture, and you see all the good stuff that he has done. And, you know, we're talking about uh, Hezekiah, King Hezekiah. We've talked about him before. Um, and it's just, just, yeah, I, I really, really do, you know, have, have, uh, I say, I, I admire him. I really do. I have admiration for him. Uh, because he just really just followed the Lord. He, he was a tool of the Lord's and, and, you know, it's, it's just what I want to be. I want to be that tool of the Lord's. And, he listened to him, and you see, uh, as you go through through uh, some of his reign here, um, looks like the next couple chapters we'll be talking about him. But you see what the one of the first things he does when he becomes king is he goes to the temple and he begins to restore things. He be, he begins to put things back in order. You see, and 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 it, it's what God does when we come to God is he begins to restore things and he begins to put things back in order in our lives because it's it's you, you know what. When we're in control of our own lives, we can make a mess. But God is the one who can go ahead and and He will just just so graciously put things back in order, and He will go ahead and just make things the way that they they are supposed to be. And and you know He has a knack of doing that. And you see, King Hezekiah, He does this. And then they begin uh, as soon as it's done, they begin to worship. God and they they begin to to go back to the it, it, doing their burnt offerings and stuff like that and and this is great to see and when we get to the bottom it says uh, when we get to verse thirty five it says at the end of it says so the service of the house of the Lord was set in order see one of the first things Hezekiah did is he set the house of the Lord in order in his kingdom okay he didn't. He, he, from from what I'm reading here, it doesn't doesn't look like he went and he did this and this and this and this and this. Okay, and I'll get to the house of God when I get there. No, he went there first, and we we need to. If the house of the Lord is not in order in us, you see, our body is a temple. It is a housing for for the spirit of God. And if this house is not in order, we need to get this in order first. We need to get to God. And say, God, help me get this in order. Get this in order first. And then it says in verse 36, Then Hezekiah and all the people rejoiced because their, their relationship with God was now open. The channel between man and God, now they used a priest, was now open. They now had ways to pay for their sins. Granted, you know, we, we know the whole story that, that the sin of an animal isn't enough, but this is what they did by custom back then. It says that they rejoiced that God had prepared the people. You see, the people were ready. They were ready for this revival to happen. God had been preparing them. They were ready. They wanted this. You see, and I see God is doing that again today. The prophet Joel said that in the last days, God will pour out his spirit on all men. That means that all men, all women, all people will be waiting for a revival of God, a revival of Jesus Christ. They'll be waiting for a revival. They'll be waiting for the fire to come again. And God is going to start this in his people. God has chosen certain people to be teachers, to be preachers, to be evangelists. And he needs you to step up and be who he's called you to be. Today could be the last day. That means the prophet Joel's words were, were, were accurate and, and the Holy Ghost wants to work in you today. God is preparing his people for the time that they are in. We, as end times Christians, are being prepared if, if our house is in order. If we're getting this temple in order. If we're renewing our mind daily. If, if, if. Now, I'm not saying that the power of God is limited. Not at all. Power of God is not limited. But you are limited in hearing what he wants to do if your house is not in order. 
And when you can hear what he wants to do and you begin to do it, that faith grows. And eventually it will grow so large. You go from glory to glory. You go from faith to faith. And you will see that God will use each and every one of us for a miracle. But we have to get our house in order. So I love you all. I hope you hope I hope you have a super, super day. God loves you more. Ciao.